working on a project with Sandalirelam, which uh, led me to stay with them for a couple of weeks. So I actually stayed w in the Illam, spent time with all the children. At that time, there was about 120 of them. You know, I played or played with them. I ate with them. I, you know, we 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 did a lot of things together. We shared a lot of stories together. And when I came back, these are the children that motivated me. Like when I went there, these are the children that motivated me to do more work from Canada. These are the children that made me realize the bigger picture in life. It's these kids that you know made me see the bigger picture in life, and. Uh, I also took a lot of pictures with them, I took videos with them and when I came back I had memories of these children, I shared these memories with other people and everywhere I went I had pictures of these children, especially these children who were under five, under five years old, they were really attached to me. Uh, for example, let me give you an incident, during the time I was there I got into a motorcycle accident, it was nothing big but I got into a minor motorcycle accident on the way to going, actually it was on New Year, the time of New Year's Day. I was going to send the Lirilam to give candies and other things to these children and I got into a motorcycle accident. But I still got up and continued my way because I didn't you know, I had these things for the kids and I wanted to make sure they receive it. And I got I got there and these children saw me with blood and right away they they told the person in charge there to take care of me and after I got bandaged up, these kids made me sleep on their lap and you know they sang songs for me and they kept on asking me if I'm okay and they like one of them even cried for me. So these kind of moments really affected my life. They're gone now. They have to be remembered by us working, like especially me and other people working hard towards rebuilding the areas that are affected, towards taking care of the children that are remaining, towards bringing in the other children that are affected by this disaster. And by taking care of them, these children, you know, soul will be taken care of in heaven. <laughs>